Aloha everybody. Welcome to Maui. We've been in Maui for two months and I hope you saw the Tasty Tuesday I did about takeout Hawaii foods. That was on November 17th. I think you can go back and see that on the YouTube channel. And most of the Tasty Tuesdays that have been running over the past several weeks, I did before I left Washington State. But we actually are ending up staying in Maui longer than we thought. So I wanted to do a Tasty Tuesday here in my Maui kitchen. We're in Kihei in a condo. And it's a, it's a pretty good setup, not perfect. I wish I had my knives, but uh, we're making do. And I wanted to tell you that we found this business here in Maui that's called Fresh Fish Maui. And every day they go out, they catch beautiful fish and they text you and tell you what their catch of the day is. This is Mahi Mahi. And we have four pieces. They're about six or seven ounces each. And I'm going to make two of them tonight uh, in a steamed recipe. And then tomorrow I'm gonna cook two more and I'm gonna show you that as well. So let's get going on the first recipe. It's a, it's actually, I've never made this recipe, so we'll see how it turns out. But I'm going to put these two beautiful pieces of mahi-mahi right here on the stovetop in a steamer. And then I'm going to put the lid on it and we're gonna bring it up to a boil and let it go for about eight to 10 minutes. And then it's what you do after that that is really different uh, from anything I've ever done before. So I got this recipe in a cookbook I found in the condo. It's about a 40 year old cookbook and it's from a res restaurant that used to be in Lahaina and that restaurant's long gone, but I thought it sounded really interesting. So we'll bring our mahi mahi to steam and I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, we're back in our kitchen in Maui and I have steamed the mahi mahi and I flipped it. I don't know if I needed to flip it, but I did. And it looks really nice. It did not take very long at all, more like five minutes instead of eight. And let's see if I can get it out of here in one piece. There we go. Now, what's gonna happen next is I have here some ginger, about two tablespoons of ginger, four shiitake mushrooms, and one leek. Now, I just sauteed these very lightly. They're not really cooked, they're still pretty raw. And this goes on top of the fish. And then to actually cook it, completely. Oh, and before we do that, we're adding a little bit of cilantro, which I did not saute. But to get those veg all the way cooked, we're now going to pour hot sesame seed oil over the top. Hopefully this isn't going to splatter and burn me. Can you hear it? Ah, that's crazy. I've never cooked anything like this before. So this is about two tablespoons of sesame oil on top of each piece of fish. I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna put just a little bit of sesame seeds. And that's it. Our beautiful, super easy, this took about 10 minutes, fresh mahi-mahi from Maui. That's a mouthful and uh, we'll have another recipe for you tomorrow, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, aloha. Welcome back for our second Mahi Mahi recipe. And I'm gonna share with you how to make macadamia nut crusted Mahi Mahi, which we cook on the stove top. I've got my pan heating up here and I'm actually not really, I don't want it to get too hot because the fish doesn't take very long and also the, um, the, what is this called? The stuff that you, the crust <laughs> will burn really easily. So for about 15, 20 minutes, I've had the mahi mahi soaking in just a little bit of coconut um, milk. So you do this instead of eggs and water 
So this is how the crust will adhere to the fish. Wow, that looks good. So in this coating is 3 fourths cup macadamia nuts, uh, one cup panko, and salt and pepper. That's all it is. Now, I did not have a food processor here in the condo, so I had to make do with a blender. It's a little chunkier than I would like, but it'll do. So we're going to coat it really good here. These are about, I think, seven or eight ounce pieces of mahi-mahi, so they're pretty big. This one is thicker than this one, so I gotta watch it closely. Now into our hot pan, this is gonna go. This stovetop isn't, it slants to one side, which is really irritating, but we have to make do. So, they're both going in there, and I'm gonna watch them really closely. So I don't want them to burn. I'm on about a medium heat. I heated the oil up pretty hot and then I turned it down. I have way more uh, crust than I need here. So I think that three-fourths cup macadamia nuts and one cup panko probably would have um, done four pieces of fish. So tonight we are serving this with Okinawan sweet potatoes, which are often called Hawaiian purple sweet potatoes. And I just cooked those, added a little coconut milk, some garlic, and some salt and pepper. And I did those in the blender too because I wanted to mash them up. I did those a little bit ago and I'm going to reheat them quickly in the microwave. And we also have a really nice Hawaiian salad here tonight with a uh, Cantonese vinaigrette, which is soy sauce, sesame oil, olive oil, rice wine vinegar, garlic, and ginger. Oh, and also stone ground mustard. That's the other ingredient that's in there. So we're gonna keep our eye on this and we'll come back in just a second and show you how it turns out. So I flipped these over. They look really beautiful and um, I'm just letting them go just another second. And I'm going to, for the last minute of cooking, I'm sprinkling some toasted coconut on top. Just let that sit there for a minute and get absorbed by the moisture of the fish. And this is gonna be a fantastic meal. And this is the great thing about fish. It takes no time, especially if you have a little bit of time to prep your ingredients ahead. Then the actual cooking is so easy. And a lot of people are afraid to cook fish, but it's so simple. So we are going to try plating this now. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And again, we're serving this with the purple sweet potatoes and a beautiful green salad. And there you have it. Macadamia nut crusted mahi-mahi. Mama's Fish House serves this dish for $59. This cost us about, I don't know, $15. So, it's a bargain. Have a good day. See you next Tuesday.